stuff too. As the Lakers Lakers not to work home court advantage. This is 2K Sports bringing you the NBA. I'm Kevin Harlan. Call me action with my broadcast partners, Steve Kerr. We got that name for no reason. Oh, God. I'm going to listen to this line. Tip off goes to the Lakers. How the heck that happened? I just jumped up. And the Clippers starting five. CP3 at point with Reddick there in the back. Blake Griffin down low and DeAndre Jordan. And it's Barnes in the three slot. That was easy. A nice shot by Griffin. You know, it wasn't really hard to see why the Lakers struggled so much last year. The talent was down, and also the defense and effort and focus was borderline embarrassing at times. And here is Los Angeles now. Paul kicks to Griffin. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. It's stolen by Hill. Johnson with it. And now by Barnes. Johnson what is again. that? Barnes. Johnson draws the double. Six on the shot clock. Lynn dishes to Johnson. Can't get it to go. The Clippers go the other way with it. He lobs up the alley oop pass. Stupendous. I love that word. Save that one. The word and the jam. I want to see it again. Just beautiful. You can't top that. I love the alley oop play. So much fun to watch. The feed now to Lynn. Boozer passes to Bryant. Lynn kicks to Bryant. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Nice play to get a hand on that pass and tip it out of bounds. I tell you what, guys, if he gets there a fraction earlier, that's a steal. The ball's knocked loose and stolen by Reddick. And the dunk by Barnes. We just, well, you, you we, just, we just told you, we just told you, we just told you it didn't work. You hard yeah, you know, such terrific on-the-ball defense to trigger the transition opportunity. And it wasn't just the tough D, it was the exclamation point they put on the fast break with the slam. Now, Reddick, after Wesley Johnson's three-pointer that didn't go. And little to no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, that was a tough one right there. Hammers the alley-oop through. Boy, the floor really opened up for him there. He sure did. Good job getting it started before the defense can get itself set. Now here's Bryant. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. Well, Jordan Hill has oh, battled he injuries, so but when he's played Clark, he's been pretty effective. You know, Kevin, last season, around 20 minutes per game, he played with the Lakers. And you could argue he should have been playing more. He was very productive in that time on the floor. He's more a banger than a spread for. He's not a great perimeter shooter. So the fit with their spread out system might have limited his playing time. That's good. And the layup just gift wrapped right there. I mean, he had a clear path to the basket. And it's Paul penetrating. It's stolen by Bryant. Now in transition, it's Lynn. Here we go. And then Johnson with the dunk. The defense to start and ignite that play was terrific. And I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. And now that they have the lead, they might even want to get more aggressive defensively. Really attack, try to come up with more steals. Pass to Boozer. Johnson kicks to Lynn. From about 19 feet. And Johnson missing again. And he'll try to develop his outside shot to better fit into the Lakers' offense last year, but that's not his strength. Where he's best is his ability to use his size and athleticism on the boards and really defensively as well. And Bryant kicks to Johnson. Johnson draws the double. The drive by Hill. Bryant with a screen on Jordan. Hill, a no good. And the defense did a pretty good job of closing off the middle once he got inside the lane. And Hill is one of the best rebounders in the league. He's a quality defender as well, and he can play some center. So if he can stay healthy, 
I think he's a guy that can really be a player to watch. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Got to get back. Here. And then Griffin with the dunk. A surreal alley oop that time, partner. The pass, Clark, the catch, the dunk, all of it perfect. Precision at its finest. Yeah, and it all had to be perfect and in precision. That's not nearly as easy as they made it look. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot of damage in the paint so far. And they're getting out in transition to finding some easy points on the fast break. Now here's Crawford. There's the killer two-hand hey, slam. Hey, You can't hold up to rim like that. Well, that was a dynamic two-hand dunk there. Right in the face of the defender. That was a tough, gritty finish. Boozer is green on Douglas Roberts. Johnson. Good. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. Here's Crawford, and it's the Clippers scoring again. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Oh, not if it results in that shot. And it's Johnson penetrating. Oh. Misses the one-handed jam. Although they didn't end with the best record in the West, the Clippers were one of the top teams against the West. They had a terrific in-conference record. Quick hands and the ability to anticipate the opening to create a turnover so valuable, especially for a guard, as we see two tremendous talents with their ability to steal that ball away. And of course, you look at the numbers, John Stockton with 3,265 steals over his career. Really a crazy number, averaged over two a game. And even in his later years, he was a threat in that regard. No challenge from the defense there. Clark could have put that one through any way he wanted. And I love the choice there, partner. Going hard to the hoop for that throwdown. Yeah, that's invisible defense leading to a very visible finish. As you guys know, the Clippers did very well in the conference. 36 wins for him, which tied them with the Thunder, Steve, for the second best mark. Well, you have to be able to dominate like that if you're going to win your division. That's what the Clippers were able to do last season for the second straight year. He power surged that one down. Mm, wow. Yeah, good turn to use. One of the game's top dunkers for sure. Oh, no question. And he loves to attack the rim, doesn't he? Los Angeles with another miss. Tell you what, they haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the board. Yeah. <laughs> Don't start, ouch, don't start the game. Got to be more careful. Son of a biscuit. Joe Berry Carroll. Lancelot Link. Holy Hulk Hogan. Ouch. Son of a biscuit. You, why you do that? Uh, yeah. You know, right. Oh. Even though it's early, I mean, that's a great sign for them for the rest of the game. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. Here's Clarkson. 
outside Davis. Lock at six. Out to the wing. Here's Clarkson. And that one's on target from the wing. Now it's a three-point Laker lead. Well, I doubt that was the plan there on that trip, guys, but uh, they did get the shot to go. It's deflected. It's stolen by the... Oh, he got it! Oh, buzzer! Oh, Knock my it goodness. down! Good one. <laughs> right at the horn! Oh, my goodness. Oh, a miracle yeah, heave to Chuck finish off the corner. How did he get that to go down? A nice release and some good concentration as well, but the biggest thing about that, a whole lot of luck. Got to be more careful. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here Thank at the start of the second quarter of play. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? And the key is you look at the steal totals for this team. They have really put good pressure on the offense. Well, you know what? Pressure can lead to pilfers, and pilfers can lead to points. So we've got the three Ps, pressure, pilfers, points. Get it done. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. So for the Clippers right now, Blake Griffin down low and DeAndre Jordan. CP3 at point with Reddick there at the backcourt. And it's Bullock in at the three, the small forward. Oh, Henry. You know, for a player whose star Clarkson shines as brightly as Blake Griffin, Steve, it seems there are a lot of naysayers regarding his game, although I think you and I would agree he expanded his game, certainly this past year. Well, I can tell you this. I am not one of those naysayers because I think Blake Griffin was the third best player in the NBA last year. Uh, the offensive expansion to his game, the post game, the passing, uh, the ball handling in transition. I mean, he is an amazing player, and he has gotten better and better every year. Here's Clarkson. Go, go, rookie. He counted. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Clippers trail by three. And Reddick kicks to Paul. Dishes it to Reddit. Plenty of space. The rebound by Sakura. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. It's Davis with the drive. Ellington dishes to Henry. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. the inbound Bullock with the rebound Clippers shooting around 60% of the night amazing work offensively so far Paul right side pass to Redden kicks to Griffin rebounded by the Lakers Zachary's got his fourth rebound in this one puts it up from 12 the shot's good from Ellington. Ellington's got his first bucket in this one. That's pretty much good been deep. the norm for them. Getting their points off assist and great ball move. Nice rhythm and flow for this team. Tremendous communication and alertness. Clipper started out as a good team. The rookie. Team. Way to go, go young man. Content with what they had. They added vet after vet as the season progressed and really made some nice additions. Down, young man. Go down. I'm ready to shoot a free throw. You stopped the. Well, hold on, man. I'm in the middle of shooting a free throw and you paused the game? What kind of Jack Daniels you drinking over there, dude? I'm at the free throw line, man. Great, shoot a free throw. He pauses the game. What the heck? You say he's freezing me. <laughs> what the heck? Chris, you can't do that, dude. You can't do Chris, that's the wrong time to pause the game, dude. See, only one safety. thing. Not as it's bad sport, but she's so frustrated he's cheating now. I can't believe it. 
Man, oh man. Well, there's such thing as sportsmanship. You shouldn't do that. And the Clippers' yeah. death was a big help for him in the first it. round as the well, bench provided, I thought, throw. Clark, a good punch for him against the Golden State Warriors. You know, that's true, but they just didn't have enough in the tank to get by the Thunder in that second round of the playoffs and what was really, something you don't do. an entertaining back-and-forth series. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Jordan Hill, he's checked in for Robert Sutton. Boozer comes in for Ed Davis. Johnson, he's checked in for Xavier Henry. And it's Brian in for Wayne Ellington. The drive by Paul. Over to the left wing. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jordan Hill. That's his first foul. Yeah, close, but I didn't think he got on balance quickly enough. And it's hard to draw charges as quick as players are at this level. That's not an easy bit of work there. Barnes can't get it to go. Lakers leading by seven. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Well, thanks, Kevin. Matt Barnes out of UCLA, of course, an energy and effort player. He brings toughness and a defensive mindset. And he said, I always forward to guarding the best player. My thing is to stay into them and make them uncomfortable with pressure. You want to make them work hard and not allow them to get anything easy. Kevin, back to you. A versatile defender and much improved as a shooter over the years, Doris. Thanks. Reddick has it to Crawford. Can they get it? No good. So the Lakers will take it the other way. On the wing, Johnson. Outside, Kobe. Passes to Hill. Five to shoot. That's in, coming off an assist by Kobe. And the Lakers beat by nine. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Yep, that's five of their last six baskets inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. And the Clippers call time here. And during the timeout, both coaches get a chance here to review the strategy at this point of the game along with the discussions. Also, some rehydration going on with Gatorade. Everyone trying to bring their top game here tonight. Yeah, that's why you see the trainers going around to every player, making sure they're hydrated, they're getting enough to drink during the game. So important to hydrate yourself yourself strong and, and ready to play for these big minutes down the stretch. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. It's stolen by Johnson. Lynn with it. He's picked up by Paul. Lynn kicks to Johnson. Knocked away. Wes Johnson, the former number four pick back in 2010. He was a bust in Minnesota, but he shot better in his fourth season. And once he was moved to kind of a small four, like the shooting power forward spot, uh, he really found a niche for himself. Paul dishes to Jordan. Shot clock at five. Was shot by Paul, no good. The Lakers on offense. Right now, they're a 9-0 run. Bryant is doubled. Here's Boozer. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. And Wesley Johnson has always been impressive physically. Great size, terrific length for a wing. Quick off the floor. Yeah, he's got all of those ingredients, but his ball handling has been a bit mediocre, rather pedestrian, and I think that's held him back offensively. Then the pass to Bryant. Lynn with it. He's picked up by Paul. Boozer kicks to Bryant. 
Count the bucket. Kobe's got 11 points. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. Yeah, they have the defense on the run right now because every pass seems to have a purpose. They're getting great movement, great spacing, and they're really lining them up defensively. And the Clippers call time here. Carlos Boozer amnestied by the Bulls this offseason after four years in Chicago. They still have to pay his salary, Steve, but it doesn't count against their camp. Yeah, that's been rumored for a couple of years, and it finally came true, Kevin. So a new team for Boozer, and looking to bounce back after what was uh, one of the worst seasons of his career, at least statistically. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Robert Sacre, he's checked in for Hill. Dang, Davis can't comes leave him. For my fault, man. And it's Henry in for Wesley Johnson. And here's the Lakers. They're on an 11-2 run. And Boozer last season had expressed his unhappiness with the rotation in Chicago. Passed over for the younger Taj Gibson in the fourth quarter. Gibson was seen as a more reliable defender, though, and typically coaches default to defense late in game. Boozer, with plenty of motivation this season, to prove his worth as far as fourth quarter minutes go. Well, they've only got a slight edge in rebounding when you look at the numbers, but it certainly feels a lot bigger than it is. Well, the score has a lot to do with that, Clark. Just based on that, you'd think the rebounding gap would be huge. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Crawford's shot is good. And Boozer, a rugged rebounder and interior scorer, with the ability to step out and hit that mid-range jump shot. Interesting to see how he fits in. Boy, I tell you what, nice little run here they're going on. Now the story is points in the paint, Clark. I mean, they're getting point-blank shots every time down. Push him down. Oh, oh he pushed in. Off in. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Kobe with the steal. Now the Lakers on the break. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at either end steals fast break buckets, and the other team scrambling to find its game. Yeah, they've done a great job causing havoc and then taking advantage in, uh, in transition offensively. Here's Thormar. There's the block. And it's on a bounce to the Clippers as the Clippers retain possession. 32 seconds left in the first half. Well, after a strong start in the first, he's still looking for a bucket here in the second. And Bryant slams it in. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. Yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. Right at the free throw line. And the shot no good, a bit short. Farmer grabs the board. The defense was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. Here's Barnes. Good half. And so we wrap up the first half. Lakers ahead, ending the second quarter with an energy burst, a 19-4 run. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. Well, it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. You look at Kobe Bryant in this game, I mean, he has been everywhere. And what was most impressive was that his decision-making and, and shot-taking was very disciplined and efficient. Really an excellent half. Yeah, that's exactly right. Whether it's been from mid-range or in tight, he's God, taking get those. only what the defense has given him. And he's not trying to do too much. I love the flow and rhythm he's playing with here. Inside, it's Boozer and Hill. Lane and Kobe are your one and your two. And it's Johnson in it with the small four. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Knocks it loose. Another second, they would have called three seconds. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. 
Lakers last season, and this is a remarkable factoid here, folks. That was only the sixth time in franchise history, going all the way back to the 40s, the Lakers had missed the playoffs. Obviously, Lakers fans are not accustomed to missing the postseason. And the Lakers with some changes. Robert Sacre comes in for Hill. And Ed Davis is subbed in for Carlos Boozer. The try by Bryant. And that one's good by Davis. And for the Lakers last season, Steve, at the departure of Dwight Howard, you knew the team on peep had less talent, but the hope was that the chemistry would improve. And I thought it did. The chemistry was good. Kevin, they just didn't have enough talent. And when Kobe and Nash went down, it didn't matter who was out there, who was coaching. You know, it was just going to be a, a situation where they were not going to be able to win enough games. And that one's good. That's now eight points for Blake Griffin. Well, he's been a real positive factor for them today, although, you know, as a team, they've had a lot of negatives mixed in there as well. Got freed up. Nice work off the pit. 17 points for Kobe Bryant. I tell you what, fellas, we're seeing some really good ball moving out there. Yeah, well, 10 of their last 12 points have come off of assists. And the Clippers call time here. Jeremy Lin is a bit of a scoring guard, scoring point guard. He's best with the ball in his hands, but not necessarily an elite scorer of playmaker. He's trying to broaden out his game so he can play off the ball as well. One second, Chris. Ah. Ready, Chris? Hey, Chris. Chris. Can you hear me, Zula? Okay, I want to make sure you can hear me. Hey, Chris. You ready? Here's Paul. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. And to become better playing off the ball, Jeremy Lin has to improve as a spot-up shooter. He's actually been shooting better dribble, but the catch and shoot is something he'll continue to work on. Griffin. And he gets the bucket. Griffin's got four points this quarter. Guys, they've had a solid start to the second half offensively. Gotten good looks, and they've made three out of four of them. Bryant dishes to Sacre. That's in, coming off an assist by Kobe. And the Lakers lead by 15. And Jeremy Lin working with the shooting coach, hard to develop his outside shot. Yeah, he's actually tweaked his release to get the ball off more quickly on his way up. He's still below average from long range, but you know he's going to put the work in. Good rebound there, but overall, they're, they're getting out. Oh, get it! Oh, oh, oh Xbox oh, record oh, that. Oh, oh, oh. Nasty. Absolutely Filthy. And the building is stunned, partner. He dug deep into his bag of tricks there. Yeah, I hope he keeps that one handy. I want to see that again. Barnes again to Johnson. Then the pass to Kobe. Hey! Rebound by the Clippers. 
Jordan's got his third rebound on the night. And Reddick kicks to Barnes. Rejected by Sacre. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, Kevin, when Doc Rivers came to the Clippers, he wanted to shift their image from a Showtime team to a true contender. Blake Griffin said, Lob City is done. And while the Clippers still make highlight reel plays with the best of them, Rivers has brought a seriousness and a focus to this team as they pursue an NBA championship. Guys? Rivers has said lobs are great, but winning is better. They're trying to get them both. Thanks, Doris. For Los Angeles, they have missed both free throws they've attempted tonight. Well, I liked what I saw from Blake Griffin showing more assertiveness offensively, especially when Chris Paul was missing time with a separated shoulder. Blake averaged over 24 points a game last year. That was a career high. Chris Douglas Roberts checked in for the Clippers. And J.J. Redick picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Mm, tough break for the defense. He took the heat and drew the whistle. Yep, but when you get there late, that's what happens. Lock at six. Kobe goes in. Again, the miss by Johnson. And Griffin showing more and more comfort with his jump shot. Doc Rivers wants him facing up to his Xbox record that. And quickness. And tell you what, when he's making that outside shot, he becomes basically unguardable. Boy, the floor really opened up for him there. It sure did. A good job getting it started before the defense can get itself set. Now here's Griffin. Here's Jordan. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Giving them an opportunity at second chance points with some hard work on the glass there. Here's Kobe. Yes. And a nice assist from Lynn. Lynn's got his eighth assist in the game. And for Griffin last season, over 70%. Clark from the free throw line for the first time in his career. Love seeing that kind of improvement. It points out how diligently he worked to refine and improve that free throw shoot. And the Clippers call time here. Who could forget Jeremy Lin? dynamic and dramatic emergence with the Knicks back in early 2012. He went from an end-of-the-bench type player struggling just to stay Clark in the league to a national storyline in a matter of weeks. Yeah, it was insanity for was. sure. I mean, and his play has settled to where he's a quality rotation player now. And quite honestly, I think he's more comfortable not having to be a media fixture like he was during that Lynn Sanity phase. I think he's much more understated and doesn't really enjoy the spotlight, and this is much more comfortable for him where he is now. And the Clippers making a switch here. Spencer Hawes has checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Turkaloo comes in for Blake Griffin. Jamal Crawford, he's checked in for J.J. Redden. And it's Farmo in for Chris Paul. Crawford's shot is good. You know, and whether or not Jeremy Lin enjoys celebrity, the NBA was certainly taking advantage of his popularity in Asia last season. The Rockets played a couple of preseason games in Taiwan, and even as he joins the Lakers now, I still think that'll be something that the league and the Lakers will be able to take advantage of. Farmer dishes the Hawks. Misses from close range. Lakers lead by 19. In the pass to Davis. Kicks it out to Johnson. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It's on Spencer Hawks. And you know, despite all the attention and promotion, Lynn is still a young player with room to grow. He's probably not a star, but you know, from an undrafted player, Luke in the first two seasons, he has come a long way. It's really an admirable story. We're seeing the Clippers unable to defend against Johnson. 13 points and a steal. 
Well, his offense has matched his defense today. He's been excellent on both ends. Steve, exactly right. You can't say enough about the overall job he's been doing. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Wayne Ellington's checked in for Kobe. And it's Clarkson in for Jeremy Lin. There's 57 seconds left to play here in the third. There's a good screen. They've done a pretty nice job of taking care of the ball here tonight. They've got to continue to do so to maintain this lead. Well, I love it. He gets there first, absorbs the contact. Nice play defensively. No flop there. He took that one right in the chest. You know what, guys? He can really light it up from the perimeter at times. Clarkson kicks to Ellington. They get it back. Sacre dishes to Johnson. Can't get it to go. Even though he isn't having the best of game from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. Crawford outside. And Douglas Roberts kicks to Bullock. For three. The rebound by Sacre. Sacre's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Bellington. In a driven play game, but off the play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Los Angeles on top, up 19. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. Must have pushed a button or something, man. Did you push a button, Chris? Timeout called the Lakers. Well, you know, last season the Lakers found themselves in a position they are not quite accustomed to. No, I called a timeout. Last no, in the I Western called a timeout when I called a timeout. Because because for the story franchise. It went right past that quarter without uh, pause. Well, well guys, as we know, there were some more points for the I Lakers along out. the way, right. losing to the Clippers by about 50 that, points, which call. turned out to be the biggest loss in the history of the franchise. That's that's Kobe that's looked that's visibly that's distraught that's after that loss. I mean, it still. Had a backhanded compliment to say about it when he said, well, now I know what it feels like to be a Clipper fan all these years. Got to love Kobe. Always with a way with words. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth. CP3 at point with Reddick there, the backboard. Blake Griffin down low and DeAndre Jordan. And it's Barnes in the small forward position. Here's Griffin after the basket by Los Angeles. Down to five on the shot clock. The jump hook. Almost, but it rolls out. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. Clarkson kicks to Ellington. Sacre passes to Clarkson. Johnson, wide open, he fires. Trains the three-pointer. One of the big stories, a second-chance point. It's just been terrific here in the second half in that area. And it's good. Los Angeles leading by 22. Fourth quarter now, we're about a minute and a half in. Ellington kicks to Clarkson. Johnson in the corner. Again, the miss by Johnson. Kevin, I didn't like that defensive effort at all, but they're lucky he missed it. 
Yeah, they were uh, very lucky. What is Johnson doing there up there anyway? There was some miscommunication there. Me. They left him wide open. That is some real serious dime drop in there. Exquisite assist. Clarkson passes to Johnson. Here's Clarkson, defended by Paul. Now here's Ellington. He's guarded closely. Johnson for three. Here's Davis. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. That sort of epitomized this game, guys. One team going all out, getting rebounds and putbacks, and the other team just dragging. Paul dishes to Griffin. A floater. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. There's the dish to Ellington. Shoots. Tries to keep it alive. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Now he thought he could knock that one down, but the defense was really all over him. And Reddick kicks to Griffin. And down it goes. Dunk threw off a wonderful assist. It's a good thing he showed up today because without him, this team would be in big trouble. Clarkson passes to Ellington. No good on the triple. Clippers trail by 20. Paul dishes to Barnes. The rebound by Sacre. Sacre's got 11 rebounds in the game. Clarkson kicks to Ellington. Misses off the right iron. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. And Griffin, here we go. Here's Jordan. And the shot counts. He's fouled. It's a chance for a three-point play. That's what they're hanging their hat on today, fellas. Hard no smash mouth play down on the low block. To me, that's the key to any game. Who can win the battle in the paint? And right now, they've got it going. The Lakers making a switch here. Henry's checked in. And here is Los Angeles now. After the basket by the Lakers. Griffin inside. Davis is there. Griffin can't get it to go in. He's not a guy they're going to be able to count on the way he's playing in this quarter. The shot by Clarkson, no good. Well defended, and he's not someone who responds well to that kind of defensive pressure. It's deflected. Davis with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Ellington from outside. Offensive rebound. Sacre. The best to Clarkson. Uh, we in game one, though. We, uh... And the Lakers yeah. call time here. Robert Sacre, a powerful seventh-footer, likes just to operate about on that left block where he's got a combination of a right-hand hook and also so. that turnaround jump shot. So he's got some options. You're one to complain. Oh, give me a game. He was there. Was any back though? Not enough time. There was any lag at all. Not one time. Not one single time you said there was lag. You say 2K need to fix their controller. You said that. But you never said there was any lag. Los Angeles with some changes. Not one. Win up, win the fourth. Outside, Lynn. Why don't you drive? got a car Ryan in the post defended by Griffin the drive go. by Boozer shot clock at okay. six and again the Lakers no good where's Tay and Zachary not a great shooter he looks to stay around the rim yeah and while he plays with a lot of energy Kevin he's not the most explosive guy so I expect him to continue to keep working on that touch and his ability to finish 
such a solid performance for them inside. Their rebounding has been terrific. Yeah, that's just one of the few things that, that have gone their way today. Now here's Kobe. Then the pass to Johnson. Hill kicks to Johnson. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Kobe attacking. Back to Lynn. He feeds it to Bryant. He dishes it to Lynn. And here's Johnson outside. Again, the miss by Johnson. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. And we head to the final buzzer in a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. This will go in the books as a really gaudy win for the Lakers. But Steve, you know, you don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, Clark, this this kind of punishment. Too. Well, you know what? I thought they did a nice job of playing against the game. I do what? They kept the pressure on, and clearly were dominant in every area. I haven't done nothing. Fantastic the show we've been put on. What an amazing game all around it was for Kobe Bryant. Now, there wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every opportunity he got. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jordan Hill. That'll be his second but foul that's not of the true. game. I, I, did it. I was doing Turk the first, quarter, first game for played. the Clippers. And there's the whistle. Foul two, two the shot. He'll go to the line. Being put on to my, uh, you know, the Clippers to my, uh, had really drive. good depth at the guard positions. But last season, their lack of depth along the front line was a real problem. One they hope has been solved this season. And looking at the Clippers bench, maybe the strongest in the NBA two seasons ago. Well, the Bledsoe trade weakened their bench, but it strengthened their starting lineup. But a winning team in Los Angeles with a player's coach like Doc Rivers, I mean, you knew they'd be able to find some help. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Johnson's shot is off. In the corner, it's Farmer. But three. Some solid defense there from Lynn. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. And this one was such a lopsided victory. They never let up. They were full throttle from the start. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Britt, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you next time. And now, our Jordan player of the game, Kobe Bryant. Dang, Rusty was terrible. This ball was scoreless. Okay.